Dave, Brandon, welcome to the Tucson Speedway. It's the second stop of the year here at this rough old worn out racetrack. And the young drivers have really started to figure this place out. But what about the veterans of the series? How about this guy? 90 year old Herschel McGriff is going to make his last start this weekend in the NASCAR Canaan Pro Series West. He's the 1986 champion, a West Coast legend. And what is going through your mind right now to, to run this race? It's been a very busy week, I tell you. And the autograph session here was crazy. And, uh, well, I'm looking forward to, to the run, and, uh, and I hope I don't miss too many notes in the, in the, in the, in the anthem, but uh, oh, it's been fun. I got so many people here from all the country that flew in to see me, so, uh, you know, it, it, and my whole family is here except one son. Cousins and nephews come from all over North Carolina and so forth. So it's, it's a great time for me. I've had, my family's always been involved in my racing. I've always worked during the week, but I've, I've never run steady too much for, you know, to win championships and all that. But I've driven Darlington and Daytona and all that kind of stuff, you know, through the years. In a sport where it's really dominated by the young guys now, what do you think of some of these guys and how do you think you'll stack up against them tonight? Well, they're all going faster than me. I, you know, I've been six years. I've been in a car. I'm not really comfortable yet. So hopefully, after the race gets started, I'll pick it up and, may, and maybe keep up with the bunch. But, you know, I won't feel too bad. I don't expect to win. Uh, when I was younger, I always expected to win. So, you know, I'm running with with uh, several drivers here that I'm 73, 74 years older than they are, because you know, there's some 16 and 17 year olds here. So. You know, hey, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> you know, I, I'm a, I get up happy every day. I exercise. I keep care of myself. And um, I still work some. I uh, have a good job. And I'm just enjoying life. Well, he gets up. He jogs every day. He goes to the gym and he works out. We're going to see what Herschel McGriff can do against some of these youngsters here tonight. And Derek, on many days, he's already two steps ahead of me at age 90. Let's go back to one of his more famous wins at the Portland International Raceway. That was back in 1986. Derek Cope was on the pole in the red and white 79 and later would encounter trouble with the blue and white 29 of George Fulmer. There's another name. Where's Herschel? Well, he found his way to the front. He led the most laps on the day. He traded the lead all day long with Ruben Garcia. And again, at the age of 59, his second of three wins on his way to the championship in 1986 in the West Series. By the way, that was just 16 points ahead of one Chad Little, Brandon. Very cool to see Herschel McGriff coming out here and racing at Tucson tonight. Bill McAnally, we got to give him a round of applause for giving Herschel this opportunity to come out here and compete against these young competitors. And Herschel McGriff, there he is, the 0-4 on the outside of row 9 at 90 years old. You say you heard Krause say he was going to conserve, and now we see them going underneath the 0-4 of Herschel McGriff on that high line. By the way, his crew chief is his son, Herschel Jr., and he races here at Tucson and has won recently. And oh, by the way, his granddaughter, Mariah, also races here at Tucson. So it's a, a family sport from the Griffs here at Tucson. No, Dave, absolutely. I mean, Ryan Partridge, I remember racing against him in 2015. He's a racer. He works really hard on his race cars. I know Bob Rucotti's always been his biggest supporter. I hate that what happened last year, him not being able to come out to the racetrack and be able to race in the NASCAR Canaan West Series. But he's he's got it all together. He's coming out here, as, as Derek mentioned, he got some seat time in that modified. That's really important for him to come here and have a good run and really show people that he deserves to be here because he is a really good young racer. And if you play the trombone, your name might be Herschel McGriff or Brandon McReynolds. Herschel getting help there from granddaughter Mariah getting in the car tonight, and he's been racy, hanging in there with these youngins. Right here, Dave, this is where Derek has to be really smart with his right rear tire. If he tries way too hard to run down a guy that he's probably not going to catch with Cody Vanderwall entering turn three, he might a he's probably not going to get there and b if a caution does come out, he might have been too hard on that right rear tire, not have any grip when they go back green. The night began with Grand Marshal Ron Hornaday. Herschel McGriff played the national anthem for everybody. And then at age 90, started his final NASCAR race, a gift from Bill McAnally Racing. 